Okay, so people are constantly asking me, is Diablo 4 good now? Now, this is my second character. I did, in fact, die, but I've experienced the pits, the nightmare dungeons, basically everything that's not the uber bosses at this point. So let's talk about what exactly is going on. Let's talk about how it was, and let's talk about how it is now. Now, Diablo 4 basically on launch and for most of the iterations of the seasons went something like this. You started the game, you started having some fun, it went like this, and then it, you'd have this spike down, which we'll talk about what this is in just a second. You'd slowly climb a little bit back up, then you'd spike back down, you go like this, and then at some point you would get bored and basically fall off. This is more or less what Diablo 4 looked like in terms of fun on the beginning of the game. Now, these spikes right here are portions in which you're stuck grinding. So, for instance, between World Tier 2 to World Tier 3, leveling was pretty slow back in the day. So, what would happen is you would hit, like, level 30, you want to get level 40, so you can do the Tier 3 capstone, and that 30 to 40 was pretty slow, and you're just kind of, like, grinding either the dopamine tunnels over and over again, or you're doing quests, or maybe you're going through the campaign, etc. So, the campaign was kind of the enjoyable portion, but at some point, you would get stuck grinding and it was pretty slow to do so. Then you would have fun again until you hit this portion, which is once again, you are stuck grinding between tier three and tier four. So as you are leveling, you're getting a little bit more sick of the grind because leveling took forever back in the day. And then you would hit tier four, you would have some fun, which is where this plateaus. And then you would eventually get kind of bored of the game and then you would go play something else for a little bit of time now is this ringing true in season four so what it actually looks like now in comparison to season four is something a little bit more like this so they have changed the game a bit where now you are having fun and the fun continues to ramp up and then right here where you would normally spike down what they've actually done is they have managed to keep it where you just are plateaued with enjoyability because the grind here no longer is as heavy as it was. You level way faster. So they're overloading you basically with the constant ability to be able to go from one portion of enjoyability to another portion of enjoyability. Tier two to tier three is not much of a grind at all anymore. You literally blast right through it basically. The leveling is way faster than it's ever been. Then going from tier three to tier four is just as fast as it's ever been too. So normally you would spike down. So it just plateaus. It doesn't really get more fun because you are still grinding up to like the 70 portion or something. But this portion where you used to kind of spike down and then spike down, they basically eliminated this portion by just making the leveling faster. Now the end here where it goes like this and you just kind of get bored of it, this part is still here. So what they had to do at this portion is add in-game material, like in-game enjoyability, like the pit, for instance. So they've added a new cycle in the pit, which is kind of fun. So you like, oh, I get the pit and then you plateau and you kind of go back down again. And then you try out Ubers and you go back down again. So they've extended it out a little bit by giving you more to do at the end. And they've managed to reduce the really unenjoyable spikes of really long grinds that you were losing player retention. So that's kind of what I think it looks like. Basically what they did was they added like a turbo mode to the game. They made it earth mode from League of Legends. They effectively ramped up the amount of monsters and the amount of strength your character feels. They just juiced it. The same game is there. You're still gonna be in the hell ties. Yes, I'm fighting a new boss here, but it's still me killing minions. You're still going to be doing nightmare dungeons. You're still going to be doing the same things. But in order to make you feel like you're not doing the same things, they first of all reduce the amount in which you have to do the same thing by making it faster the level, essentially, and also giving you more mobs to kill. But they're distracting you along the way by continually having dopamine and progression happening. So you'll get higher and higher item power faster. So the gaps in which you are being bored with the game are shorter now. So your item power is progressing faster. The world tier of going from world tier two to world tier three, for instance, is faster than it's ever been. So as you are progressing through the game, you're kind of distracted from having to feel the feeling of being stuck. Like, ah, oh, I'm level 60. And now I've got to get to level 70 and I, I don't want to do that. Like if you hit those portions, you hit those way less frequently 
which kind of puts you through the highlights of the best parts of the game. They're skipping you to the highlights of where the game is enjoyable and to where your character is getting progression, and they're skipping you past the monotonous bullshit that makes people quit the game. They basically looked at their audience retention data and they took the portions of which people quit. They're like, where are people leaving the game? And they just cut those parts out of the game. That's basically what they did. And then they added some of that gameplay time to the end by adding the pit and then scaling, scaling the pit higher and harder and higher level. That's basically what happened, boys. And then they took the uber bosses and they jacked them up and they made higher rate of variations of that. So they took some of the time to play the game and cut it out of the middle. It was like a liposuction. They cut the fat out of the stomach and they put it on the ass, okay? That's what happened here. So if you like that, then play the game. If you don't like that concept, don't play the game. 